welcome to my insanity. So for this week's video, I decided, Janet, I want to make a jacket so hideous that it's fashion. That's, that's pretty much the whole point of this video. I just want to make something so ugly that people are like, damn, let's put that on the cover of Vogue. Hence why I put a lovely piece of artwork on my chalkboard today. It's me doing the face part. <laughs> So uh, if this is a video that you want to keep watching, uh, me make a really hideous jacket fashionable. Um, and when I say make, I mean like I'm actually going to make a jacket and I'm going to make it ugly. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. So uh, yeah, if this is a video that tickles your fancy, then keep watching. If it's not, you know what? I really don't blame you at this point. So let's get to sewing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my insanity. So. Janet, what is your plan? I hear you asking. Or oh, really, I hear no one asking because I do whatever I want. But at the same time, if you comment that you want to say something, I will always attempt to do my best. But either way, I was brainstorming a few different trends that are happening in fashion lately. And there's a definite trend that just refuses to die. And that is the unicorn trend, which is just a really fancy way of saying rainbow. So, <laughs> with that in mind, I thought, okay, let's make something just outrageously rainbow and then I thought how can I make something outrageously rainbow and I thought why not make a whole jacket out of pom-poms <laughs> which in theory I think is gonna look absolutely fantastic but in practice it is going to take so friggin long so I'm, I'm not too enthusiastic about the time that I'm going to be spending on this video, but at the same time, I know that I'm going to enjoy myself. So I have different thicknesses and colors of wool. So I even have a rainbow wool, just to throw in there. But I've got like this puffy wool that I'm going to use with a really big pom-pom. And then I've got these smaller ones that I'm going to use with smaller pom-poms. I went to Spotlight and I picked up like these thin wools for like two bucks each and I think I picked this one up for like four dollars. I have a heap more somewhere just these are the ones that I can find for the moment and also Spotlight oh, no! I dropped it. Spotlight also had these like pom-pom makers there's three sizes there's one that I dropped on the ground right then um and this cost me like four dollars. I know that there is a way where you don't have to spend money on a pom-pom maker but at the same time I'm uncoordinated and I'm lazy. So we're gonna do it that way. I think I might start with yeah, the thick purple one. So all you got to do, and this is pretty much just gonna be a huge time-lapse video of me making thousands of freaking pom-poms. All you gotta do if you get this specific one is you like loop it down. I've had a bit of practice with this video before I started. So you get your pom-pom maker, it's this weird shape, put it down, loop it around, and then literally just keep Keep wrapping it. Just keep wrapping it until like it's thick and fluffy and perfect and just, just gonna make you look so chubby like a cute little chubby bunny when you put on the jacket. I think that is gonna be nice and f oh no it's unraveling. Maybe it's not gonna be. No! Today is already a disaster. I think that's gonna be nice and thick and fluffy so then I just cut this part off. I think I cut off this side. Make sure I was tie a knot there. Hold the knot. Cut this. Come on, upper body strength. Where you at? Ah! And then you just tie it. Tie it. Oh, I just tied my finger to the pom pom. Why did I pick something which needs so much coordination? What? Ha ha! And there you have it. You have a fluffy pom pom, and we're just gonna have a whole jacket made out of these. So cute montage. Yeah, well, that's the last time I try and be trendy and hip with the cool kids. <laughs> All right, it has been two days, two and a bit days of me just consistently making pom-poms. And I'll tell you what I've deduced. I'm sick of making pom-poms. And are you asking, but Janet, really, how many pom-poms could you have made? Why did I think this is a good idea? 
<laughs> These are all my pom poms. Um, I don't know exactly. I should probably count how many pom poms I made, shouldn't I? I'll count all the pom poms I made later and I'll put a number there. I hope that I have enough to make this jacket because if I don't have enough to make this jacket and I have to make more pom poms, I'm literally going to pay Jai to make the pom poms for me because I don't want to make them anymore. I'm so done with making pom poms. The next step is to actually make them into a jacket. But see, after making all these pom poms, I'm so lazy with this project. Like, I don't. I don't want to make a jacket, so I had this delightful epiphany that I should just go to Kmart and buy a jacket. And then the best thing in the world happened. I found out this great piece of knowledge, right? I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. Because God has not graced me with the genetic input of having a voluptuous set of breasts. <laughs> I have pretty much the chest of someone who hasn't gone through puberty, which means that I can shop in kids' clothes and buy a jacket for eight dollars on clearance. So I went to Kmart and I got this jacket in a size 16. Children's. <laughs> oh, isn't this just the peak? Of fashion. <laughs> yeah, so instead of sewing myself a jacket and attaching these, I'm I'm just gonna attach the pom-poms to this. Let's get to attaching all of these pom-poms. Alright, so I thought I'd come sit up here for a second and actually detail how I'm gonna make the metallic jacket a fluffy rainbow pom-pom unicorn Frankenstein atrocity. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Either way, what I've done is, as you saw, I just wrapped a lot of wool around this thing and I cut it and I tied it together. The piece that tied it together is just this one loop of wool that I made a knot with, so that's what I'm gonna use to attach it to the jacket. So if you look closely, if my camera will focus, oh, I just dropped my needle. Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna look down. So if you, there we are, so right there is the knot. So all I'm going to do is use one side of the knot, uh, one side of the wool that makes the knot, and the other side of the wool that makes the knot, and I'm just going to use the needle that fell on the floor but not in my foot yet uh, to like sew it into the jacket and then just tie a knot on the other side. Like, I feel as though that's the smartest way to make this jacket, but at the same time like there's probably smarter ways. I'm not saying that I'm intelligent, I'm not saying that I'm smart, I'm just saying that I'm a lunatic that'll do whatever I want to do. And make videos about it and hope that people watch it and think oh she's pretty cool I have simple wants in life anyway so need all right so today I'm very aware that I look like an absolute goblin um, I'm cold and I'm sick of pom-poms I'm so sick so what I've got at the jacket so far this just cluster of pom-poms that I have hand tied to everything and I just hit this really fun realization like I'm so glad that I've hit this realization and that I figured this out so this is the jacket yeah I haven't yet finished it and I've got maybe 30 pom-poms left and I think I might be halfway through so I have to make more pom-poms I'm just gonna set this on fire I'm done I've lost count of how many days I've been working on this but I can easily say that it's at least been two weeks and two trips to spotlight to get two different bags of wool I think I'm like on ball number 25 or something crazy like that and the best part is I have the arms and the hood left Wherever the hood is. No, that's the hood. The arms and the hood left. And I ran out of pom pom. <laughs> so I had to go back to Spotlight and make more pom pom. Rope burn and blood. Yay! The last pom pom is done. You know what this is? You know what this is? It's the last pom pom. It is the last, last pom pom because everything else I have, I have pom pommed. The whole thing is pom pommed except for one little spot on the elbow of this arm 
and then it's done. So after five trips to Spotlight, after I don't even know how many balls of wool, after I don't know how much money I spent on this, even though it was only supposed to be like $50 and all this other kind of stuff, it's it's done. It's going to be done and then I can go out and I can have ridiculous crazy amounts of fun with Jai, my ugh, brother from another mother and my photographer that I pay with food and coffee. Um, oh, now how do I get into it? Janet! So after all this time, after all this effort, after all of this, it's going to be done and it's going to look so atrocious. And I'm so excited. And I know that a lot of people are going to be like, why would you want to make something so ugly? Well, you see, if you've ever watched the movie Billy Madison, there's one scene in Billy Madison where Adam Sandler's character, Billy Madison, says that he's always wanted to see a blue duck, but he's never seen a blue duck before. So you know what? He's going to draw himself a blue duck. Well, never seen a jacket entirely made out of pom-poms before. So you know what? I'm going to make a jacket entirely out of pom-poms so that I can see a jacket entirely made out of pom-poms. So that people who are like-minded like me, who have never seen a jacket entirely made out of pom-poms, that think to themselves, you know what, I want to see a jacket entirely made out of pom-poms, I can give that to you. This is my gift to the world. The gift of, you want to see it, I make it. So if there's something in the world that you want to see that no one's ever been brave enough or crazy enough to create, you know what? Give it to me. I'll make it. I'll do it. I'll make your dreams come true. Like my dream has come true. <laughs> Are you ready to see a reveal? Da 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 da. I love it. Okay, so now I got my hair done and I got my makeup done and I'm feeling like a solid like seven. But you know what? We can do better. So, when I get this on, oh, oh, it is just, it is just the most beautiful thing I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> but now that I got my lovely, gorgeous jacket on, I think I'm like a straight 10 on the pH scale. <laughs> because I'm so basic. Oh, this is just like the definition of a basic bitch at this point. Just a... <laughs> but I think I can do better. So, if we're going with the whole basic thing, because I feel like this is just the peak of basicness. So, I feel as though nothing tops off a basic outfit more than a pair of hoop earrings. But you know, you're on Riefenstein's channel, and on Riefenstein's channel, we don't just go basic. We go like above and beyond basic. We like are so basic that if you pour like hydrochloric acid on us, we're going to neutralize it. Exactly. So, these aren't just hoops. These are beautiful, you can't see them, heart hoops in not just gold, rose gold. Because you know what? We're basic. Did I say that we're basic? Well, we're just, we're just embracing basicness. And you know what? Now that the finishing touch is on, oh, mate, I am, I am ready for an absolute party. So now I'm just going to wait for Jai to get his little tookus over here so that we can go take photos. And I can go embarrass myself in public! They don't love me. Oh, Miss Saba, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a... Cats the coffee. It is time for the jacket's debut. First time my baby has seen the light of day. This is a sight to see in a small historical town in... Middle What's of nowhere, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> me. Did Jai get stuck? <laughs> I can't even like move my arms to like... <laughs> you look like the cutest little chubby munchkin! Wait, guys. Stop! <laughs> Who gave you permission to be so fabulous? The gods, darling. The gods. <laughs> Who gave you permission? <laughs> we got a jumper. Now, as famous politician Shakespeare once said, Starbucks maketh the most basic of bitches. I've never felt more luxurious in my life because one, I'm walking with a huge tripod and a camera wearing this gorgeous fur jacket. And look at Jai. <laughs> He's carrying all this stuff. Monkey. Latte. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for today's video. I just wanted to say thank you to my lovely Jai. Everyone give Jai a round of applause. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
if you have your own blue duck that you want to see but no one has ever like made it or has been brave enough to make it or any of that kind of stuff please comment to me what you want to see because guess what I love making blue ducks and I just want to make your dreams come true so I guess I'll see you next video enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time say bye Jai bye, bye.